Namaste, it's Sahara Rose, and welcome back to the Highest Self Podcast, a place where we discuss what makes you your soul's highest involvement. So I wrote a song, and I got it recorded with my friend, Cosmic Quest, and I can't believe I'm, I'm announcing this right now because it's something that I never, ever thought I would do in my whole life. So let me tell you the backstory, because hello, this is the Highest Self Podcast. So... In June, I went to Bali by myself and I got out of the airport, delirious, flying for so long into the cab. I hadn't been back in Bali for four years since I had been living there, really had my spiritual awakening there and also some of the toughest moments of my life with my family. And I just get into that taxi and look out the window and just words start flowing through me. And... Normally, I mean, in my life here, I don't even have the space to write poetry because my days are so full of, you know, writing and podcasting and online programs and doing all these things that just suddenly in this like stillness of sitting in this, in this taxi, looking out the window and these old stomping grounds of mine, words started flowing through like a waterfall. And I began just writing it in my phone, Drake style, you know? And I wrote this poem, this spoken word poem, and it's about time and how how time, you know, does it really exist? And I know it's something that people say, oh, time doesn't exist, but at the same time, it very much does exist. And I catch myself sometimes in that in-between of like, oh, well, time doesn't exist, but also I'm late for my meeting. And Time doesn't exist, but look at the seasons. Time doesn't exist, but look, my mother's getting older every year. So how can time not exist when I'm noticing wrinkles on my own body? And it's in a debate that I have with myself sometimes, you know? And, and I decided to just write about it a little. So I did. And it sat on my phone for six months or so. And in December, I went through a really tough experience. And I realized in that, through that tough experience that I'm so hard on myself. And I have this like need to like always be helping others and creating content and like being the most, you know, supportive person in this and that and like do all the things that I've let go of the side of me that's truly just an artist. So... I decided I don't want to let go of that side of me, not in this life. And I DM'd my friend and I hadn't even met him in person, by the way. This is my Instagram friend. (laughs) And I'm like, hey, I have an idea for a song. Like, do you want to talk about it? He's like, sure. So I just recorded myself a couple times saying this poem and I sent it to him and he's like, dude, I love it. And I'm like, no, he's like, I love it. I'm like, no. So he's like, why don't you come over and we can record it and I can make some music to it and it could be a song. I'm like, oh, I don't know about that. You know, cause I'm really not a singer. I mean, I love to sing, but you know, people don't love me to sing, you know, I'm one of those. So I went and, you know, you'd think I'd be really great on the mic since I record podcasts, but it's so different when there's like music and someone's staring at you and you have to do a good job, but it came through. And now I'm really excited to share it with you slash really nervous, but at least I don't have to listen to it. You're going to be listening to it. Ah, so without further ado, I want to introduce you to my first song ever with the Cosmic Quest. Be sure to check them out on Instagram. This song is called Thoughts on Time. between a deep knowing that we don't have much time left and that time doesn't exist at all. 
the impermanence of the seasons and the permanence of nature. The wrinkles on my grandmother's face and the youth that lives on inside of her. The dripping petals of a rose and the cyclical blossoming of the bud. The sprouting growth of a child and the eternal child within. The days on the calendar you think did you like it did you resonate the song is available on spotify on soundcloud so you can listen to it again you could make it part of your meditation practice you can contemplate with it you can do your oracle or tarot cards or never have to listen to it again whatever you feel but i just feel really honored and privileged to be able to share my words with you and I hope it sparks a conversation in your own mind about time and its duality and how it so dearly exists and so dearly doesn't exist at all. And that's the beauty living in this time, you know? What is time? It's up to us to decide because we can almost choose how time operates for us. And that's something I really realized. I can choose if I move really fast, time moves really fast. And if I move really slow and deliberately, time seems to be moving a little bit slower and more deliberately. So we're literally controlling time, guys. Pretty trippy, pretty out there, but it's the Highest Self podcast, so I feel like it's a safe place to share with you guys. Again, check it out, The Cosmic Quest, Thoughts on Time featuring Sahara Rose on Spotify, SoundCloud. I'll link to it in the show notes, and I feel so deeply honored to share it with you. 
I hope that you enjoyed this episode. And if you loved this episode, I would love to share with you the first half of my unreleased book, Eat Right for Your Mind Body Type, which is different from my book, Eat Feel Fresh. It is my unreleased, never to be released book because it is now part of my Eat Right for Your Mind Body Type program. I would love to send it to you absolutely free. All you gotta do is leave me a review in the iTunes store, take a screenshot and email it over to me at sahara at eatfeelfresh.com. Again, take a screenshot of the review and email it to me at sahara at eatfeelfresh.com. And I will send you the first half of my unreleased book, Eat Right for Your Mind Body Type. Namaste.